everyone, welcome back to another video with me, The Giraffe's Life. Today we are exploring London, part three. So today I'm gonna hang around Barbican area, around St. Paul's. We have a few bits and bobs that we're gonna see over there and I'm very, very excited. I've rented a Boris bike. They're two pounds for 24 hours. So this is gonna make it a lot quicker to get to like St. Paul's. If you remember last video, I walked there and it took about two hours. So we are renting a bike and hopefully my cameras won't fall off. But this is what we're doing today. Okay, I made it to like the bank area, which is like the city where everyone wears suits and stuff. And I'm gonna go to Leadenhall Market, which I've never been before, but it's meant to be beautiful. I also forgot my face mask, which is not very good. So I'm gonna have to find a face mask somewhere. And I'm also sweating. And I think I was on the bike for about two minutes too long. So now it's gonna cost me four pounds for that ride. And I got lost, so yeah. If you've never been here before, I am currently living in London and during this time of no traveling, I am exploring London like a local. And now my camera battery is faster, which is annoying. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. And yeah, let's, let's explore London together. in Leaden Market Hall and it is closed like the actual market bit is open but everything else like all the shops and everything is closed but it's absolutely freaking beautiful in here I could definitely come back here and uh, explore a little bit more when the shops are open but yeah they're closed probably because of Covid So I came Guildhall Yard because it looks freaking pretty as heck, especially in the pictures. And then this is the Guildhall Art Gallery, which isn't open because of COVID. And you also can't go into the actual Great Hall because of COVID, which is a shame because it looks really, really pretty on the inside. And I believe it's free entry as well, both to the gallery and to the Great Hall. Um, the only downside is that it also seems to be like a parking lot. The beautiful photo that I thought I would be able to take here, impossible. And there's a man. This guy here, that guy there, he's literally just walking around talking on the phone in front of this beautiful building. So I can't even take a nice picture for the gram because the man's in the picture. But yeah, uh, after this, I have 55 minutes before I have to be at the barbecue because I've got a ticket to the conservatory, which I'm really excited about. But apparently it's only like a 20, 30 minute visit. Like that's how much time they recommend you be there. Um, and then I'm gonna probably find somewhere to have a spot of lunch, probably take it to go and go sit in the next park, which is next on my list pretty much. But yeah, how stunning is this place? Like you can't really hear because of the stupid, whatever they're doing, construction. But like London has some pretty hidden gems and it's just stunning. change of plan I thought I had booked a ticket for two o'clock for the sky garden for today but apparently I'd never actually pressed to book the ticket so I have to hastily book another ticket for now which is at one o'clock but I'm obviously gonna go to the conservatory 12 and then I was gonna come here to the postman's park 
uh, afterwards to have some lunch but obviously that's not gonna happen so I'm gonna be here for a little bit and then I'm gonna go to the barbecue and do the conservatory and then I have to hurry to the sky garden I need to figure out how to get there uh, the quickest way um, and then enjoy sky garden and also I need to find somewhere to eat in between there as well and then I'm gonna go St. Paul's afterwards because I was gonna do barbecue in St. Paul's sky garden but now I'm doing barbecue in sky garden in St. Paul's it's just another peaceful little spot of uh, London uh, Postman's garden so they have a one-way system and like people working here stood along the way like pointing you in the right direction but it's not too busy and as I said earlier, I forgot my face mask and I can't find anywhere to buy one, so I'm going to keep my distance. As it is a one-way system, you kind of have to wait for others to move forward before you can leave. Especially considering like you can't really walk past anyone here. So if you are coming around this time, it's probably going to take a little bit longer. Depending on how many people are here at the same time, it might take a little bit longer than 20-30 minutes. Um, yeah. So that's the conservatory behind me. I want to get down to these bikes here so that I can cycle to Sky Garden because I have to be there in 40 minutes. And it was going to be like a 20 minute walk, but like a 10 minute cycle. So I'd rather cycle there. But I'm really confused about this place. I don't know how to get down. So I made it down, I got another ticket. So essentially you get out here and then you just have to walk along this entire thing and then you can get out over there. So I'm just gonna hop on one of these bikes. I have about half an hour to make my way to Sky Garden, but it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. Hopefully I cycle the right way. Just... Rex. So I got a steak bake as well as a drink. So that is St. Dunstan in the east where I was last week and then like we walked all the way to Tower of London and then across here past the Shard and then we ended up by like Borough Market and then I think that's the Shakespeare Globe over there. Now I'm at the top of the Sky Garden. I forgot my face mask as I mentioned earlier but even though it said on the ticket you had to wear a face mask they didn't stop me um, and there's lots of people here at the top that aren't wearing a face mask. And the best thing about this view is that it's free. You just have to like book a ticket for a time slot, but it's a free ticket and then you can go up here and have a, uh, enjoy the view. come down from Sky Garden now and I'm just gonna walk across London Bridge but here is a monument which I believe you can go all the way up but obviously it's closed because of COVID it's like most things are open but also most things are closed partly or entirely because of COVID and especially something that's so small like this like that's the staircase up in that little column you can't really social distance there but that would be cool one day so I've been to Spice Mountain and got some spices for my aunt and then now we're just gonna go to St. Paul's. So this is a Millennium Bridge which used to be called the Wobbly Bridge because when they built it and erected it, it wobbled. Like when you were walking it was literally swaying but it doesn't wobble anymore thankfully because I wouldn't be walking on it then. But yeah, we're gonna go to St. Paul's.
So St. Paul's Cathedral is just behind these trees, but I just thought I'd sit down because I haven't really sat down all day. It's currently 10 to 3 and pretty much done with the tour of London. I'm just going to show you around St. Paul's. I'm not going to go inside. You can go inside and I believe you can go all the way up to the dome. I'm not entirely sure if it's open to go to the dome today. I think it is, but it was like 17 pounds to get in. And I think that's a little bit too expensive. Just gonna chill a little bit and then I'm gonna take you around, get some cool B-roll of St. Paul's. And I really hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm doing after St. Paul's, but we'll figure something out. And just like that, perfect timing, my camera battery died. But this is St. Paul, which isn't as pretty up close as it is from far away because it's so huge, you can't even see the dome. Well, I hope you enjoyed part three of me exploring London. I'm now gonna try and find a bars bike and cycle my way home. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up and let me know where else in London you would like me to go and explore and I will try and do that. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I will see you next time with a new one. Until then, stay safe out there. Goodbye.